Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This right here is an HP ProBook 435G7 and you can see from this sticker which I have censored that this is um, that this is uh, not written that I didn't just get this computer to make content off of it. In fact it wasn't I it wasn't intended for me. It wasn't intended for me to make a video off of it, but here we are anyway. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of this laptop, or as much of an overview as I possibly can give on it. <laughs> Including a few different things, like, I don't know. And let's get into this video. Before I get any further, I would like to mention that a bit of the inspiration for making this video came from some of the content made by Jordan Woolery, another tech content creator I watch quite frequently. You should go check him out. I'll probably put a link down below in the description. If I don't, then I'll, then there's also a link to his channel on my channel page. But yeah, so a bit of background on this computer. If you couldn't tell from the the fact that this that I'm censoring this sticker right here this is a unit in which I got from in which I got from my school district and this actually is a third unit that I've gotten from my school district in the past three years you see I mean, these units are provided to uh, to students that uh, to people that uh, to students of the school district that I go to and yeah. Now, because this is a school unit, there's tons of different things. There's like, there's a web filter which blocks my, which ends up with the YouTube on these things. It's also filtered, and I know this because of the fact that the school keeps on blocking my videos from, and at, uh, from being watched on school Wi-Fi or school computers, and you can't change the background because it, and I can't either because this because I'm not the admin of this computer you can't I mean you're not supposed to install extra software on here you're supposed to use the software that you that the school provides you with but I accidentally installed a GBA emulator on here oops and it runs a outdated version of Windows which I'll get to later on in the video you can see for this from this sticker that and a, another sticker right here which I've censored that this is school project it's a HP Pro X360 435G7. You have all these stickers. I'm pretty sure this is made for, you know, I think it's probably designed more for the European market, but you know, given the fact that it's kind of hard to find information on this computer online, but mm, hey, whatever. Now I'm going to cover the ports. So yeah, there's a, some sort of SD slot. Mm, I do have a micro SD card, which I could try and put in there. There's a audio jack, HDMI port, a, a USB port. I'm pretty sure that's a Thunderbolt port, as it, I'm pretty sure my other personal laptop which will be getting its own video in the future probably not this year has the charger for this computer and the uh, fits into and the, and the charger uh, I don't know what the what the end of the USB is called but that thingy fits into my personal computer well, while the charger for this does and there's also a unused charging slot or a unused more standard charger port probably similar which is appears to be similar to that that I had on a older computer a HP Pavilion X360 M3 in terms of ports on this side I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a security lock and then there's a, another USB port and that's pretty much it for the ports on this computer in terms of the specs I'm pretty sure this computer has a AMD Ryzen 45 100 U with the dedicated graphics card and before I go any further on the specs I'm gonna start this thing up because I can't remember the specs off the top of my head and I, I'm just gonna put in my password here and uh, with that I have to start up the computer so yeah and I'm gonna I'm gonna go do administrative tools to go to system information because I honestly don't know why it has Microsoft put system information in the admin and in the admin tools. AMD Ryzen 5 4500U with Radeon graphics. I mean there is um, eight gigabytes of RAM and then the and in terms of and then this hard drive 
appears to be 237 gigabytes. And this thing is running Windows 10 Education Edition. With, I mean, um, that's pretty much the main specs of this machine. And let me go into settings system about this thing is running version 20h2 which is kind of old and also this thing is getting really warm well it's in terms of computers that i use on a frequent basis this is pretty much the oldest um, and this is running the uh, this is the oldest system software i'm and that is running on uh, that runs on any of the computers i use on a frequent basis since this computer is running the original windows 11 and my personal computer was I recently updated to the um, to the 22H2 update of Windows 11. This computer didn't. I mean, it doesn't seem like I can get it on this computer yet, and that's fine because because the fact that it took a while for it to get Windows 11. So yeah, this thing is touch screen compatible, and I'm gonna. And since this is a school computer, and trust me, this is a school computer because of the fact that I have that there are stickers that show it but in terms of the software that I mean, in terms of the software which has which is this thing is running it took quite some time to open the contacts menu but it is um, but there's microsoft edge which i use google chrome which i don't use i'm pretty sure in the program files there it appears that there used to be firefox on this computer there's and there's whatever this thing is supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be an audiobook thingy. There's a program called Stellarium in on this thing. There's Microsoft Office, and there's also Act Microsoft Access and Publisher. There's some. There's probably this. There's this. Whatever this is, I think it's supposed to be a web browser, which is supposed to be used for testing. There's Adobe Creative Cloud, VLC Media Player, Zoom, Adobe Reader. I'm a, a, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, some other programs which are programs used for testing, and, and whatever these two programs are, which are called Spectrometry and Sparkview. And yesterday that at number was at like up to 70 degrees Celsius, which is because I was trying to open Word. Now, in terms of system testing, I can't really do much in terms of a hardware test for this thing since, well, it's a school unit, and because of that, I can't really test out the trying to run any games on it is the only game I can and the only game I'm supposed to be able to run on this thing is Minecraft Education Edition. But as I said, I managed to put a GBA emulator on this thing, but I'm not gonna test that either because I already, because I don't wanna like break the rules a second time for pretty much using. Also, there's still this, and then there might be extra software on here. Uh, yeah, there is extra software. Specifically, there's semantic endpoint protection, but I just use Avast. I generally don't know why the school would use um, semantic endpoint protection since this is, or well, this version, since it's, since as you can see from the UI, it's outdated. Let's just put that. We're not gonna do that, but yeah. I'm not gonna try and do any gaming or media tests since I was gonna do a audio test on this thing, but this USB stick wouldn't that I was gonna use to copy some audio files from the, my desktop computer to here. I didn't really want to cooperate, and my only other uh, multimedia that I could use to test you know, for testing on here is pretty much footage of me destroying a TV remote. I'm just gonna set on the uh, Microsoft Teams. Oh, no, not Microsoft Teams, but Microsoft Edge. And that is a overview of the HP ProBook 435G7. Thanks for watching this video. A bit of the inspiration of this video came from Jordan Woolery, a and I'll put a link to his channel down below in the description. And I will see you next week. Bye!